Hello, this is Lachimi Kantiwari. In this tutorial, we will be interfacing micro SD card with the STM32 F7 discovery board and uh, we will generate first uh, initial code using STM32 cube MX for uh, discovery board, STM32 F7 discovery board. Uh, some of the pins has been already assigned to the sum function. So, we have to first uh, clear out all these pins and then we need to select uh, a system debug mode into the serial wire debugging mode and then we need to select here RCC reset and clock configuration HSC into the crystal and the ceramic regenerator and also we need to select here the STMMC1 okay into the SDIO 1 bit mode and here you can see these three pins has been assigned and then what we need to set a clock parameters and uh, clock parameters here is already assigned to the 168 megahertz but uh, uh, let's set it at maximum to 16 megahertz okay and uh, into the configuration parameters what we need to set here the SD card FATFS file as a SD card and also you can set here into the print configurations if we expand this FATFS here you have an option to set a SD card okay and uh, we are not using a DMA here so we do not uh, need to set the DMA, CRC and other things and uh, what we can do here into the FATFS if we click it FATFS then here he, we have a uh, lots of option uh, to set are the reset. These are the some options. Um, first of all that uh, before uh, discussing these options we need to understand uh, what is the FATFS and uh, which library this uh, STM32 cube MX is using. And into the RCC we need here RCC global interrupt. Okay and it is already defined into the NVIC RCC global interrupt and uh, here into the ARM Cortex M7 uh, we can enable this instruction preface, art accelerator and CPU I catch, CPU D catch. Okay, it will enhance the performance of STM32 F7 microcontroller. So, uh, before discussing these options, uh, let us first try to understand what is the FATFS. Actually, the FATFS is a file allocation table of a file system and uh, it is a basic FATFS library developed by a chain so basically this is the system organization how actually uh, our system this microcontroller uses FATFS and uh, it communicate uh, uh, either with SPI or with the SDI SDIO uh, which is known as a SD host SD host is a little bit faster means it is much faster than the SPI communication because SPI actually uses the CPU clocks but SDIO there is a separate SD host on the microcontroller which take care of the memory management. So uh, suppose that if you are developing an application which will call FOPEN. So FOPEN actually internally calls the disk read into the ff.c files and then it will call the SPI exchange. So these are the some files uh, which uh, our uh, program will be using uh, ff.c, ff.h these are the some header files which will be included there and ff.c and mmc.c and device.h and the spi.c and, uh, and also this uh, FATFS system supports a multiple drive as well as a single drive systems. In a single drive systems uh, it will support uh, uh, via two way either you can communicate uh, with SPI or SD host as well as uh, you can also uh, interface the RTC for a time stamp into your data logging and into the multiple drive system uh, you can also read or write the micro SD card as well as the USB NAND uh, flash as, and RTC and uh, here you can uh, see um, these are the memory usage if we are using this FATFS which is developed by Chan and uh, then these are the typical memory footprint of this library 
ARM7 compiles it into 32 bit the size of uh, uh, library will be 10.1k full library and uh, if it use thumb mode instructions then it will take only the 6.6k kilobyte because of that the some instruction is more dense um, than the 32 bit instruction sets and if Cortex M3 is using a thumb 2 instruction sets it will take uh, even less memory that is 6.2 kb and if you are using a VR controllers it will take 12.1 kb so on average this uh, a fat FS system will take uh, memory almost 6.6 kb to uh, 12 kb one more important uh, point here if you are using this program into your application then uh, you need to add this uh, fat FS license in your program and uh, these are the some functions which are available to use so for a file access you have access to f open which will actually open or create a file f close will close your open file f read will read data from a file and f write will write a data into the file and uh, fl seek will move the pointers read or write pointers okay and uh, these are the some other functions which will truncate sync and forward into the files get s will uh, read the strings and the put C will write a character similarly there is F put S F print F write a formatted string into your file and if you want to access a directory then you can use F open directory and close directly F read dir and F find first and the find next actually the find first will open a directory and read first item which will match and find next will match the next items and uh, these are the some file or uh, directory management uh, commands these are the some functions f rename will rename file or subdirectory and uh, f u time will change the timestamp of a file or a subdirectory and uh, f chdir will change the current directory and uh, if ch drive will change the current drive and here are some value management functions f mount will register and unregistered work area of value so before using sd card you have to mount sd card and uh, fmks will format sd card and it will uh, make a fat fs file system on your sd card and uh, ff disk will create a logical drive on a physical drive and also if you are using fmkfs then be aware that it will format your SD card and you will lose everything on your SD card and F get free will get total size and free size of a volume and F get level will get the volume level and uh, you can set the volume level using F set level and there are some device control interfaces such as uh, disk status, disk initialization, disk read, disk write and uh, disk uh, IOCTL uh, which will control device dependent functions and get fetch time will get a current time from RTC yes here you can see fetch FS version is 0.11 so uh, here you know if we enable tiny mode if we enable tiny mode suppose that FS tiny then you can see here if we enable FS tiny so we won't be able to use everything and uh, here you can see fs minimize fs read only path find ch mod ex expand okay so if we use tiny suppose that into the minimize uh, we cannot use actually these functions if we are using fs minimize then uh, we cannot use these functions which are taken here okay and uh, if we are using it into the fs read only then we cannot use uh, such as fs F write and F sync all these functions. Here you can see we have FS read only, FS minimize, huh? use string function, use find function, and use make file systems is enabled. Okay, and here you can see a max long file is enabled. That means uh, you can uh, you you can give the name up to the 255 character for your file. 
and if you want to limit it you can just set a num some numbers here less than 255 and greater than 0 okay and uh, use line here use long file name is disabled so you have to enable it okay so if you are uh, enable it with the dynamic working buffer on the stack so then you have to set your stack size uh, a little bit larger let's say 2 kb or 4 kb okay fine so so click on ok here that's all what we need to set here okay and uh, now let's click on code generate okay it will open a project setting window here we need to give a project name so before giving a project name let's select first folder where we want to save our code okay suppose that it is a micro SD card code and we need to select uh, ARM version ARM version 5 KLMDK tool and into the code generation copy only the necessary files one important point we need to uh, increase here stack size what we can do we can make it 800 800 means 4kb okay so here uh, we have assigned it a 4kb we have assigned here a 4kb stack so 4kb stack will be sufficient for this program so you, we can just click on ok then it will generate a code for micro SD card so here it has generated a code for a micro SD card and uh, here we have everything what we need and uh, here you can see uh, this file have uh, stmf7 stmmc.c in this file if you read these instructions if you want to learn more about how this fun uh, this file works you can read uh, these um, uh, comments and uh, then you will be um, able to understand all these functions very easily however you do not need it to read a very um, in depth because of that uh, these are the some uh, low level functions which is actually already written by micro ST electronics and user do not need to understand all these things to make a SD card working and uh, here is the FATFS and uh, main file so thanks for watching this tutorial and uh, stay tuned for the next tutorial